figure we do something different today and play some Magic the Gathering today. So it looks like we have to play 25 lands in white or green spells, so we're just going to play a white, green, landfall, life gain, token generator, counter deck. First chance and giggles. Until we get our reward. Or quest in done, I guess I should say. Little, 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 little. Cheesy Freezy. Wish there was a way to change your name on here. Free. Uh, not the greatest hand, but I'll keep it. Because I can just use that to search for a land. I mean, I'll be down one, but that's fine. Unless I top deck a plan, which that'd be fine. Oh, I'm going first. First time fucking going first. Activate. Going to grab a planes. So that way next turn we can play something. Okay, cool. So. Play the force for the turn. Play that. Now we can go for combat power, or we can go for life gain right now. I think power would be more important right now. Alright, so... We are gonna do that. This. Make that bigger. We're not gonna attack. I know this person's playing a highly competitive deck with that, because that card isn't one of the uh, higher end competitive decks. Oh yay. Crew vehicle versus life game. Okay, so we're gonna do this first. And then this will come in. Trigger the life gain, trigger. Get one of our planes out. Put that on there. No attacks. Cause he could, I didn't swing cause he could have blocked with that on my turn. He's playing Mono Black Artifact Crew from the way it looks. Alright, so we're going to cast this. We're going to gain two life from it coming out into the battlefield. And then another life from that. That's us a treasure. So then we're gonna draw a card, gain three life. Sack the treasure. Now we gain one additional life. And we're gonna make that bigger. Not going to do any attacks. We basically want to play defense until, well, as far as we can. But we're going to use that to get our shit bigger. I would say we'd use this ability too, but right now, excuse me, right now we don't need to be playing more lands yet. Sacrifice a creature. Okay, um, sack that, I guess. Sacrifice an enchantment, sack that. I have no choice but to. I technically should have sacrificed 
this, but it has counters on it. And I already gained enough life. For this! Now, he probably has a kill spell in hand. Wouldn't doubt it. Ah, 3-3 three, three Beholder. That's an interesting land. Graveyard Exile. Okay, that's interesting. I don't know why he didn't exile the creature. I don't have Graveyard Recovery. This deck doesn't do Graveyard Recovery except for this part right here. But it would take too much in order for me to actually level it. I only got six mana. He's beating me on mana because I've been missing land drops. I even had a draw card too, which is the worst part. Uh, we're just gonna do this. Hit for five. First blood. In turn, I don't want to use this right now because I already got enough plans. Because I could bring that card back out if he doesn't get rid of it, hoping he doesn't. Which he might attack with it, but he'll lose the creature. It's the only problem. Which, taking that creature out would be the best move for him, because I would gain uh, one life from, or two life from this, which would give me two counters to put onto that. On my turn, depending on what I draw. Not my first choice, but whatever. I would have personally went after the thing that's getting my stuff bigger, but whatever. Ah, discard mechanic. I can't flash it. You better swing, man. You're not gonna swing? It's about to say. That gives him two targets. Killing that doesn't help me any. Killing that helps him. He didn't get rid of it. That is weird. Okay, we're gonna block that. We're gonna eat the four. Wedge that, of course, killed my creature, but that's fine. Because... Going to play this. Going to put that out. Close combat phase, make this bigger. Swing for six. Technically, I don't need the green mana for it, but it's just the extra light beam is kind of helpful. Because I don't have all the white cards for it yet. I could technically make this a mono white deck. 
mono white life gain angels. Because life gain is fucking egregious in this deck. They need to have. They need to put like anti life gain, but that's kind of problematic. Wow! Killed everything but my one angel. Good job. You do realize I can bring it back, right? Oh. Yeah. Good job. Guess I need to get rid of that because that's just dead drawing me right now. Um, gonna go with white. Hit for nine. That's once you got two. That ain't gonna help you. The only thing you have to have two of them. Don't matter. You could technically no, you can't. You actually can't kill yourself. Lock. Not really the card I was hoping for. Might as well play it. And win! Took 12 minutes, but that's fine. Silver rank 4! Yay! See how many ranks I can get before, uh... I finish my little quest right here. I finished that one. I think that was like the weekly wins or whatever. That's daily. So I need to play 25 more lands and uh, cast 20 more white or red spells. Yay. So it's actually wanting me to play white spells. Which I don't have all the white cards, or I should say I don't have all the angels to make that deck yet. I'm still missing that one legendary angel creature for that deck. That makes it to where angels become bigger. Huh, didn't know that was an avatar. Oh, this is helpful. Guess I'm keeping this. Wow, double evolving wilds. That's always a good sign. Put that out. Playing against the white blue deck, so it's probably white blue. Oh, great. Man, even better. Okay, so we are going to play that and that. I would technically say going for a Evolving Wilds trigger would be a good idea. But I can't really risk that right now. Depending on what I get, I might actually have to. No box. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Evolving Wilds, Greenland. Attack. Technically, I did the wrong move. I should have done the Evolving Wilds, but you don't know what you're going to draw half the damn time in this game. 3-1 Flyer, yay! There we go. So, we're going to play this. Then we are going to play this. Play this. No attacks because they got the 3-1 right there. Next turn we'll play that into that. 
into this. Oh, that's why you're playing Bat. Okay. That's cute, because I just got another one. So we're going to play this. Play this. Play this. Swing. Now it's basically who does more damage and who loses faster. Great! I'm going to lose faster now. That's fine. No blocks, I'll eat it. So now we got to do this. And we're gonna have to do this. Which it doesn't matter because he has what's my call it? So I technically lost because he has that stupid card right there. Which I'm just gonna start swinging out because if that's basically what this match has turned into. It's just a swing fest. Because technically, this thing would be fucking huge. Do it again. Surprise, he blocked with this. Which I know why he blocked it, it's because I don't get counters. But the thing is, is that he killed his spider in the process. Oh, you are doing bad counters! You cheeky waffle. Going for that spread, okay. Can't swing with that motherfucker. Fucking fish on a bubble, that's fucking awesome. More fish, okay.
have a creature card I can pull, and I can't gain any more life. But I can't do this. Technically, I should be the one winning this, but yeah. Spiders. I can't block. Oh, that's dumb. Creative game, but yeah, lost this one. I'll just concede it. Lost the rank, no! Oh well. That was a pretty interesting band deck that that person had. They used the fish to make him un unblockable. Which, that was in white blue, which is actually pretty interesting. I think the only bank commander that they got besides the what what they were running is Chu Lane. And I think maybe like the head of the bank area. I can't remember their name off the top of my head. Garth One Eye. I think I played against this guy before. His name sounds very familiar to me. Oh cool, we got a turn two set up. Technically speaking. Not really what I want to be seeing right now. If I had Scoot Mob, that would be a different story. But having three of these starting hand kind of sus. Leave it alone, I know you're playing Mono Green, leave it alone! Fucking A! Oh. Well, that's interesting. Do I want to get greedy? Kind of do. They already got the mana for it. Oh my god, I got greedy! Fucking a greedy son of a bitch. This guy's gonna fucking hate me. And you know what? I am not gonna apologize. I'm just gonna mass an army really fucking quick here, if you don't mind. I don't care if you have a fight spell, go ahead, do it. Oh, that's one of those artifact features. From, uh, Neon Dynasty. That's interesting how they made that a thing. Oh, crap, that's a big giant 7-7. Seven, seven. So I turned all his stuff into mana dorks. Mono Green is getting, like, egregiously overpowered. Honestly. Mono White, too, but with their life game in standard. Technically, all he needs is a board wipe to kill my ass. Literally, all he needs is, like, any sort of deal one damage to every single creature on the board, and I'm done. I'd be dead on sight. 
The only problem is, is that I don't need green spells, I need uh, white spells. At the beginning of... Ah, okay. You're swinging. That's interesting. I'm going to block, even though I really don't need to. Like, I really don't need to. Okay, we're going to play this. So we're going to do this. And then this is usually when a person plays. He could fight whatever he wants, it doesn't matter anymore, because, I mean, I wish he could see my hand, and I know there's going to be some aggravated comments about what I'm running. Ah, 4-7, he's just pumping into that one creature. Which all he needs is something to give it trample. Like, if there's a way to... You know, give trample. I'm just gonna eat it. Literally, I can eat that. No box, I'll just eat. 21? <coughs> if I had literally the multi land port like I had before, I would have been perfectly fine out of the game. Or if I got one scoots for him and I have like the land. Oh, his shit has vigilance now. That's interesting. He's trying to sign me out now. I don't blame him. I mean, literally next turn I'll have a bunch of creatures out. They need to ban this card! I know it's not like egregiously overpowered, but if you're not playing at least like a red or black, you're screwed. Or white. Or green, technically speaking, but you would have to run like literally, no joke, removal spells. Just cause... Which, red green is like, don't get me wrong, red green... Joan generally, okay, now, yeah, I don't blame you, man. Oh, uh, Joan is great for removal, because it has all the good removal spells, and, and I mean, blue has the counter spells, which is even worse. All right, I got all my shit from that, nice, cool. So I can buy one pack, I got one pack here. So let's buy a pack of cards real quick. What's the daily deal? Oh, these are just card alternate arts. I don't really care for that. Grab that. I should have technically grabbed the mythic pack, but whatever. Right away, okay, let's meet. I think I got the one, uh... I think I do. I have to check. Because there's a deck that I've been meaning to build, and it's a token generator deck. I got a lot of different decks on here. Um... I know it's a red enchantment, Red, enchantment, I don't want to do alchemy, historic brawl, I think that's the one I usually do, that's the 100 card format, yeah, 
Um, we're gonna do blue, red, or not blue, red. Uh, red, white, green. And basically we're gonna use this one where it says, if you would create one or more tokens, you may instead create that many two, two green cat creature tokens with haste or that many three, one green dog creature tokens with vigilance. So we're gonna be using her and then we're going to have a uh, sub commander or a lieutenant of this one. This one's just faster and easier to get out versus that one. Because you could just go straight mono green and get her out like that. Which I like these commanders because it provides a lot more uh, kind of like color identity. Because you can make her a red green excuse me, a red green commander or a green white commander or just straight mono green. And it's just perfect. Okay, so we're looking for a mono red craft and it is a, an enchantment. And I believe it was a rare enchantment that had to deal with tokens. That's the first spell. And copy that spell I mean she's the targets. That is interesting because I don't know how that works with tokens. So we might throw that in there. Not that one. Here it is. Mirror March. Whenever a non-token creature enters a battlefield, flip a coin until you lose a flip. For each flip you won, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Those tokens gain haste. Exile at the time... At Exile them at the beginning of the next end step. So basically you wouldn't be getting the token copy You'd be getting dogs and whatever and they would bypass the ruling of Exile and anything so they'd be basically just be casting normal creatures and that way you can get more dogs and cats So we got that enchantment now It's a heavy cost enchantment, but it's worth We want to put that in because that makes our creatures bigger. Let's actually get all the enchantments out. Uh, Noited Procession to double. This one gives cats. Doubling. That one, because I don't know the interaction with if you were to cast like a spell or an instance that would generate tokens, if it would actually double it, because it's not target. Because it says whenever you cast an instant copy that spell, you may choose new targets for that copy. So I don't know how that interaction works. Uh, natural growth, double the attack power of our creatures. That's just a natural thing. And parallel life. So... I know that technically you don't want to have a card like this in a three color deck because that's too high on the green CMC, but to me it's fine. Same thing with like usually double red or that amount of green you usually don't want, but eh. Don't want bard class, destroy target land, choose a target opponent if they control fewer lands than you. Create number of green equal to the difference. That actually kind of works. That would generate only one token. But the thing is, is the first two parts actually work. Creatures you control get a plus one, plus one every type of land for mana. Add one mana of any type <coughs> that land room would produce. Double land. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature or planeswalker card, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. If you don't put the card into your hand, you may put it on the bottom of your library. Uh, how many? God damn it, that's not what I wanted. 
We are running 10 enchantments. That's a little bit too many. So that technically doesn't really help us all the time. So we'll get rid of that one. Rarity's Wake is a mana doubler. We need that, especially for this, because that just make it to where it's three mana instead of it being six. Um, technically, we don't need unnatural growth, but I kind of like the idea of having it. Ranger class, gotta have that for that. The uh, token generator and also just life, or not life, but uh, power that it also creates. Same thing with this. Um, now we just need to look up token generators. So I'll go creature, and then just type the word in token. I did not want to put that in there. Speaker of the Heavens is, in this case, not the greatest thing right now. Um, Cranko Mob Boss, that would be a good one to have. Wild Mage. I might throw in um, Masquid Nexus because it turns everything into everything. So this would go with it because that would be like non-token whatever. Um, which they would turn into uh, basically cats, but I mean still yet. Yeah, it's just the random token generator, so we might as well just throw that in as well throw that in for the lifelink because that's creature type based night because that also works with the mask with nexus but we just have to really grab the mask with nexus as fast as possible i should technically throw that in whenever one or more non-token vampires you control create a white one create a one one white vampire token but that only gives you one but with the doubling that i got it technically be like four this would also work technically definitely putting that in And that, and that. So we got a few creatures in there. 13 creatures that do uh, tokens. Mask. Is it Vask? Wood. Nexus. Oh, I still have it on creature. God damn it. There we go. I was wondering why that wasn't working. Uh, put token back in. That one in. Counters, because that actually helps. Action 
actually we got plenty of uh, enchantments we don't need any more enchantments I don't think Token counter counter because of mask with Nexus counter where the what's his face go? still god damn so I actually could have had more token enchantments god damn it token go back to token again Devotion to why, because why not? Goblin, because goblin. I'm making this deck just to be Yankee, honestly. That just helps with mana. That helps with tokens. That generates elves. That turns all my shit into elves. Dragon. Cause dragon. Gotta put that one in too. Okay, what do we got so far? Still got forty lands. It's the three point eight average. Not too bad. So 39, 44, 54. We got about uh, 54 cards in out of 40, 54. So we can add about five more cards in. But I'll just put Planeswalkers in. Token, 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 token. Oh, it doesn't have 100 cards in it yet. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got like 90. Okay, so maybe some instances and sorceries then. Token. Token. 
Token, token. And I think... There we go, now we got 100. Actually, the one that I should have looked for was the one search enchantment card, but I mean, the amount of token cards that we got in here, I'm not too worried about it. Now I need to get the land cards. That's going to be the fun part. So, gotta go with Command Tower. Gotta go with that. Cabaretti Courtyard. Technically, we can run this because it is not in the color scheme. I know it's technically I could probably make this deck better, but I'm not really worried about it. Evolving Wilds. Fable Passage, Gateway Plaza. Obscura Storefront, Broker's Hideout. Uh, Uncharted Haven, that's an easy mana fix land. Enters the battlefield tapped, enters the battlefield of chosen color, add one mana of any color. Terramorphic Expanse. Okay, we got that done. Next we need red, green, white. Bright Green, Rugged Highlands, and Rootbound Crag. White Green, Can Alive, Pay Two, Can Alive. Scrying one's not bad, that's basically drawing. But that's like, you know, oh wait, it's paid for. But that's not too bad. That's a constant scry. Let's see how this deck does. Honestly, I don't think it's going to do very well, but that's because I just built it in a short amount of period. And I've been wanting to build this deck for a while. Technically, there's like another deck I also want to uh, build as well. It's my uh, Is It deck that I have. I just wish that, like, and I ain't saying it like this, I just wish that they would put it to where you could have all the commanders in this game. Because, I mean, they brought Historic Brawl into it, which is basically knockoff commander, in my honest opinion. It's, it is what it is. Like, they brought commander into this and make the game a lot more appeasing to people. At least in my opinion. I mean, at least it's like get more people into your game at least because that's what a lot a lot of people play is commander not just standard this is a horrible land primo that's better i actually got some lands this time keep they're gonna probably be very confused on what on the fuck i'm playing I 
I should have played this one, but it's fine. I can't play anything anyway. Until I get her out. This is really more for like the copy roll. Gain a life. Then I just have to play this as a green and then I can get this out. Which I have to be careful because he's playing. I'm gonna play your deck, kind of a deck. Xanathar. Come closer, little thing, that I may see you better. Ow, that's creepy. A gift in exchange for loyalty. So we could do that. I think that would be the best option. Pay the two life. Play this. Not gonna attack. I always reward the loyal. She actually has no way of gaining counters on her. I just realized that. She doesn't have a plus one, she only has the minus ability. Oh yay! Okay. So they only get to play the top card of my library. That is okay. I'm fine with that. Um, I kind of want to test that combo out, but I have to get more lands out. Um, play that to play it. Next. No attacks. Enter. Yeah, I know, you get to play the top card in the library. Good minions are loyal and deadly. Ah, oh, man, that was on top of all creatures. God damn it. Huh. Wait, that's all I have left for basics? Controlling bitch motherfucker. That's fine. He took a land from me. Oh, he's playing Masquid Nexus too. Oh no, he took my Masquid Nexus. That son of a bitch. Oh, he can just keep casting. Oh, that is disgusting. As long as he has mana for it. I know technically I should have uh, the one fire god from uh, Iroas. Or not Iroas. I think it's Iroas, I can't even remember. I need red. Oh, I don't have 
the card to go with it. I thought that was my other red enchant. Which now he can just stop casting spells. I don't know why he's not swinging at me. I can't block. Yeah, go ahead, take my fucking card. Piece of shit. Here, he took my land. And he's playing my angel, too. God damn, man. Wow. Glad you're enjoying my deck. Go, my children. Seriously. He literally got my combo off with that. That's annoying. I'm just going to concede and call it good. Alright guys, thanks for joining with me. Hope you all have a good day.